Our Together We Can food drive still needs your help to raise $200,000 and 150,000 pounds of food this holiday season. Let's rejoin News Channel 10's Walt Howard and Ali Allison out at Market Street United. Madison, we are hoping to finish with a flourish here at the holiday food drive. Uh, we do have a little bit later on a nice big check. You know how I love those. Yes. And that's coming yes. up from United Supermarkets <laughs> a little bit later. And right now we're going to be interviewing some heavy hitters as far as schools are concerned. I love it so much. I can't wait. These are award winning that's schools. That's right. We're going to give out a couple of trophies. Uh, Zach Wilson, our executive director, is going to be handing those out. So that's something to look forward to in just a moment. Yes. But we want to remind everybody that it's not too late to go ahead and donate. We're really looking for cash this year, and the best way to do that is either go online to highplainsfoodbank.com or hit a United supermarket through Sunday. They'll be handing out scan tags through Sunday. I love that because just tonight is the end of our broadcast. The food drive continues, continues through Saturday. on and on and on. And the scan tag campaign, that's so nice it goes to Sunday. Okay, you want to hit one of those schools? Yes, Friday? yes, right. I can't wait. All right. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you something right now. You know, one in seven adults in the Texas Panhandle are food insecure. One in four children. So chances are you know someone that really doesn't know if they're going to have enough money to pay for their groceries over the next week or so. The holiday season is a perfect time for you to make a donation. It's the spirit of giving. And that's why we do the food drive this time of year, so that you can help out your, your friends and neighbors, not only during the holidays, but during the winter months as well. And we have a couple of schools that understand that. Allie's with one of them right now. Allie? Hey, I'm talking and having a good time always uh, here at our Friends with Woodlands. And Tracy Gables is here. She's the principal of the Woodland Bears. Y'all have a, a huge, I, I think it's pretty huge, uh, food drive. Yes, ma'am, we do. Um, as a matter of fact, we collected over a thousand pounds of food what? this year. What? Are, woodland bears, how do you feel? <laughs> awesome. Grades K through fourth. Uh, also some money, some some big pounds, 929 pounds. That comes out to 17, over 17,000 meals, Tracy. Yes, Can you believe that? That's awesome. If there's a need, our community comes together. We our, love that. Yes. We love that, and they're so proud of you. Uh, Zach Wilson, he's the executive director of the High Plains Food Bank. This is a cool trophy, Zach, and there's quite a few names on here uh, through the years, and it really looks like the Woodland Bears 10 years in a row, Miss Gable was saying. Yeah, absolutely. We are very excited that, to give the trophy back to you once again for the next year and say congratulations and thank you for all the, the great things that you've done for us and helping the community. So. Job well done. Thank you. Thank you. Yay! Very much. Woodland Bears, I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Woodlands Elementary. Walt, uh, you're with some fine folks right over there. That's right. You know, another school that traditionally does a really good job of supporting the High Plains Food Bank this time of year is Woodlands or not Woodlands, but Greenways Intermediate, and they're with us now. Russ Renault is with us, and Russ, uh, tell us why it's always such an important uh, project for the Greenways to contribute to the High Plains Food Bank each year. It's always been important for us to give back to the community and to support our community. And Greenways is comprised of six elementaries, and so uh, it's a broad group. And so the kids and the families really dig in with the teachers and contribute to the food bank. And how well did you guys do this year? Okay, this year Greenways collected $3,114. Uh, we also brought in 2,076 pounds, which uh, translates to 17,302 meals. 17,302 meals. All right, Greenways, way to go this year. And, of course, we know what that means. We know what that means. Zach's going to bring in a trophy for you guys again this year as well, Zach. Hey, well, congratulations to and keeping the trophy once again for the next year. And thank you all, all for the hard work and all that you help us do for the community. So thank you all very much. Well, thank you very much. And we expect to see you back here again next oh, year. To be here. All right, thank you. So cool. And of course, we had a can of Greenway beans right, right in the front yeah, row. Come wall. on up here, come let's over show here. this. We've got to show everybody. Look I mean, how... this is what you call dedication right here. <laughs> Take a look at this. What's your name? Billy. Billy, you're awesome. I'm proud of your school and I'm proud of you. Great job. Y'all are awesome. Thank you. All right, don't forget we have a big check presentation coming, a big can and now a big check coming up in our next cut-in. We'll see you then. All right.